So here it is. The long-awaited video of Phoebe, Montana's only lesser anteater, also known as the Tamandua. Tamanduas are one of the most amazing creatures I have had the opportunity to work with. They are a member of the sloth family, or the Xenarthra family. Sloths, armadillos, and anteaters. They are very highly specialized. There's a lot of debate over their captive diet. Uh, I use a raw meat based diet, which some people are just not comfortable with. However, I worked really hard with somebody formulating this diet based on the nutritional analysis of the stomach contents of a wild tamandua. And it's been pretty successful, although incredibly, incredibly messy. You can see she uses her claws, just like she kind of would in the wild, to dig it out of there and uh, then smear it everywhere. Her claws are incredibly, incredibly long. In fact, she actually needs a trim. Let's see if I can get in there. That's attractive. One of the really cool things, I don't know if I can get an angle where you can see, is their fur. Their fur from here back grows like you would expect. Um, you know, like you would pet a dog. But from the neck forward, their fur actually grows backwards. So you kind of have to pet their little heads this way. And, of course, the reason for that is because if you're going to be sticking your head into a mound or a log full of bugs, you know you want to be able to have the best chance at, at actually sweeping them right off. So the bugs are crawling on against the grain, and that makes it easier for the towns to clean themselves off afterwards. They are semi-arboreal, and they do have a prehensile tail, which, if we can get over here, you can kind of see that she's hanging on with that tail still. Kind of a lizard-like tail. One of the most gentle-souled, quiet-minded species I've ever known. Probably the most... Just, just quiet and so, so endearing. Exceptionally challenging. Very fragile. Sadly, the mortality rate is very high on the tamanduas. Uh, between the dietary experimentation and just what they have to go through, they are still imported. And uh, a lot of them, a lot of them don't make it through the shipping process. And, of course, once they get to the importers, it's up to the importers to have enough integrity to give them a healthy diet, to try to get them switched onto a healthy diet. A lot of the importers will just try to move them as quickly as possible onto their next destination before, you know, their health can be impacted. Even a lot of the zoos have really struggled keeping them alive. There are a few people around the nation that are working on captive breeding programs so that hopefully we can eliminate the importation. All the noise in the background is all of our happy parrots. Over here we have Chi Chi squalling. We'll see if we can get a Get an angle on Chi Chi. Chi Chi is a greater Patagonian conure. Pretty special in that they're very rare in the pet trade, or I should say, not very common. Maybe more common in some areas. They are actually endangered in the wild, so it makes Chi Chi a pretty special part of our education program to have him on board. He was a rehome. 
Conyers are one of the most commonly rehomed parrots in the pet trade, as you can tell because their noise Chee -chee, is massive relative to their size. The other squalling you hear are two more Conyers, both of them rehomes. That's a Gen Day Conyer, that's Zachary. And down here, this beautiful little Conyer is Nugget. All the Conyer species are very loud. You can come back over here and see Phoebe. She's really the subject of our video. I know a lot of people have been waiting to get to see her. See if we can get her to climb around a little bit. Can you climb for us? They are incredibly agile, and sometimes Phoebe will actually just hang from the ceiling and climb around. You can see, hopefully, with the sun back there, their front end is is huge, just solid muscle in their front legs. This is for Cat Tower, which is her absolute favorite thing in the whole world. Mine, not so much. Kind of my least favorite thing. We'll see if she'll come back out. Oh, here she comes. Peeker, peeker. Hi, Phoebs. You want to come back up and have your food? Come on. Come on. Oh, she's going to come up this way. They use those forearms to really pull themselves around quite a bit. It's very difficult to get all this video with just my short arms. And that's video number one of Phoebe. Say goodbye, Phoebe. We love Phoebe. Even though she smells bad and has really messy food. <laughs>